Hey, hello again. Uh, I have a new project today. I just uh, got this from uh, Buy Display from uh, China. And what it is, it's an OLED display. For what? So, uh, this is a replacement display for my. TS100 soldering iron. You can see when I plug in and it's supposed to be on. Now it's on for sure, but the display it's gone. So it's very possible that uh, the display was defective from the beginning. It was working well for a couple of months but then slowly and slowly degrade and uh, the luminosity uh, went down and it was too late anyway to return it it was out of warranty and I, now I'm trying to I'm trying to replace it that's why I ordered this little uh, display it came from buy display like I said uh, I'm going to write down for you some specification about this little one and now uh, I'm afraid I can't show you too much because I don't have a microscope but I'm going to do some uh, shootings about uh, how the things are working but first of all we have to oh it's still hot we have to open it up so uh, that's why I need some uh, some tools. We have to take out this screw here, this one, and this one. The first step, of course, is to open up uh, the TS100, and we need some tools, and that's a T6 head kind of star head and we have to open this screw here this one too okay and another one here here we go and now the tip is off and we can dismantle the plastic it's very easy it have a few clicks that's the little one We have this board here, that's the control board. And then we have to take out these two screws from here. These are the, the tip, the, these are the tip connections. See? And it also keeps this board down this kind of screwdriver it's a p hash zero okay and we have another piece here And the board is finally out. Don't forget about this. Okay, that's the board. Very simple. And now, this is the display. And the moment of truth is coming because I have to know if what I bought it's working it's a double tape to keep the display in place and another one here just take it and there we are
So far it's looking pretty similar. One M, of course different numbers, but it's looking very similar. Now, now I'm gonna try to this soldier, the old one, and I'm gonna use and uh, for now I'm gonna use this kind of small device, small iron, with a little bit of flux. Take this off. Repairs, it's wonderful. Now, let me clean these things. Oh, this one is not so powerful, but I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try using it with a, an external battery. 2.1 amps. Okay, let's see, maybe it's better. I need some extra power, some extra juice. This is a huge difference. Okay, so let's prepare the new display. Yes, uh, I'm trying to get ready for soldering the new display and I have to find the uh, proper position. I need some help also, so I'm using uh, that support. It goes backwards because then I have to flip it 180 degrees lot of flux that's rule number one always rule number one i should have a like i said the proper hot air station but i don't have it for now so i'm gonna try to to fix it with uh, the little soldiering iron on five volts usb uh, it's working somehow i'm not sure if it's uh, if it's okay but let's see okay it's looking pretty good so that's the position here all I have to do is to to fix it a little bit well I think it's okay it should be okay so now it's the moment of true let me have the power of course, nothing, because I don't have this board on. <laughs> and let's cross fingers. Oh, nothing yet. Uh, it's looking like I need a better soldiering. Let's fix the connections a little bit more and maybe it needs the tip to start working but I'm afraid uh, not so let me redo the, the connections for now so it needs uh, a better soldiering uh, a little help you have to push it down a lot of flux and carefully inspect every little trace every little connection a microsoft is very very useful so uh, that's it for now i have to put it uh, in the case and uh, try to power on with the tip on also now the double tape is in place and then i have to flip the display like that and now i'm preparing to put everything back in uh, in the case okay and this one goes here the round one oh, perfect let me have the tip and here let's power it up Oh yes, surprise, look, and it's working, perfect. So it's looking like uh, uh, starts working with the tip on, everything is fine. That's nice. 
look there that's perfect so this is the right replacement display for this kind of soldering iron so that's the end of the video for now thank you very much and I'll uh, give the details about the display and as you may see it's working great it's bright new thank you